All right, I'm back from lunch. And I think I was going to mess with some elevation here, landscaping. Let's see, I wonder if I can do this while Okay, chicken farm, let's go back. chicken farm. That's weird. Let's try this again. going on? I can't seem to get my chicken farm to come back now. That's really weird. That's like super weird. if it was the road or if I'm just like plopping it funny. Okay, there we go. 
That's much better than it was before. Now I'm gonna go back in and just soften a little bit. I don't need these crazy cliffs. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna go smaller. just going to have to be a little bit of a cliff there. This is fine. It looks good. And now I'm producing livestock, which can be exported or sold locally. Now I wonder if I look at, let's see, company profitability. there's like some charts somewhere for um reports that fires are currently spreading in the nearby forest the billowing clouds of smoke probably not in the intro views to anyone nearby at this time all citizens in the affected services production here we go here's what i was looking for distance until the situation is under control so i am now producing 2.3 t i don't know what t means a month But I have a de deficit still. How do these level up? Based on profit, I guess, maybe? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. I can always expand this a little bit. I can come up on the road here going to do I'm actually going to plan on that but I'm not going to do it quite yet but let's uh, oh I'm not trying to level I'm trying to soften Get more of a gentle slope here demand bars now so low density medium low density residential medium density residential high density residential commercial industrial and office so I can probably start building some office here shortly let me know if you want to see something monthly balance is slowly getting better. Last time it was at negative 190, I'm now at negative 170. Do I still have a deficit? Yes, I do. You know what I actually am curious about? This little area I bought over here, does it have any resources? does. What have we got over here? Is this ore? I think blue is ore. 
yellow fertile trees are green obviously oil over here okay so I've got some oil some farmland a bunch of trees Small emergency shelter. This was, oh wow. That's a big upkeep. 815,000 a month. Whew. I want to build that, but I need to get profitable first. For sure. I've unlocked low density office. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If I'd like to it, see an accident. You, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays. And Wonder where it was. Safe. Is we've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right. Today we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Uh, that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Ooh, Did crime you, you scene. Panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll <laughs> this stay radio. and the mess. <laughs> You'll be back after that. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Vanilla CS2 is definitely better than vanilla CS1. I mean, it should be, obviously, but I don't really remember what CS1 was like originally. It was so long ago. I'm so used to mods now and assets. But the road tools for sure are a massive improvement. So it's just being able to place things without having a road there yet, so that way you can bring the road to it. Um, yeah, it's been pretty cool so far. All right, well, let's see, what do I wanna do? I wanna build a farm. Also unlocked a bunch of signature buildings, I thought. Maybe not. I it said I had a bunch of buildings available, but hmm. roundabouts. So these are interesting. You just like plop it down where you already have a road, huh? It looks like it has to go where there's a, a node. So like here, right? Hmm. Road maintenance. I guess I probably need one of these for when there's accidents. Oh, hey, cool, okay. So I can add trees to the side of the road by just clicking. So you don't need a road with trees anymore. Now you just plant your road and then put your trees. Oh, and you choose which side you want it on. That's cool. Makes the sidewalk a little bit larger and takes away parking spaces though. So that's interesting to know. 
Speaking of parking spaces, that is one thing I haven't unlocked yet. Maybe I should do that. I should really probably have some parking by the high school, at the very least. Well, I mean, it, it has built-in parking, so really? Do I need it? I don't know. Maybe I don't. Probably for these houses, though. Um, the tree thing, is that like the upgrade road tool? Yeah, so you go to your roads and you choose your road services. And then like you can add a crosswalk or make a wider sidewalk or add grass, which technically the wide sidewalk, grass and trees are all the same thing. And then you can add lighting. So yeah, you basically just go over the the area on the road that you're looking to add your trees to, etc., and just click. So it is pretty much just like the upgrade road tool. My commercial area probably does need parking. Yes. Let's buy that. Unlock. So now I have parking, small parking lot, medium parking lot, large, huge, overground parking. You can add a car wash to that, that's neat. Let's take a look at this small parking lot here. See how that works. Yes, yes, I know you need more housing. <laughs> Another thing I unlocked is parks, which I don't think I've come in with a park yet. So I've got a maintenance depot, small park, small plaza, playground, dog park, campfire site. This is how I always roll dog parks. <laughs> so they don't have a huge area that they affect. Nobody is using the parking lot. Alright, I really need a road maintenance depot. Oh, okay, so this is showing road conditions. Like, this orange? That means the road condition is not great. It needs improved. So I've got some city services going here. I'm going to keep that up. Oops. I didn't mean to do 
that. I don't want to connect that there. I'm going to tap into this one here. Okay, now this should help clear up accidents and maintain roads. Still nobody using that parking over here. I maybe should have actually put it more in the middle rather than over there. I wonder if I can relocate it. I can indeed. There we go. I think it'll find more use there. Do I need to rezone that? I do. to the farm I was going to build. Grain farm. Okay, so I've got lots of yellow here. roads, so get rid of that, 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 we'll keep that. I can really. looking very large farm level. I'm actually going to buy up a few more map tiles here and now how am I doing? Ah, I'm losing more now. Well, I did add a couple service buildings. Well, actually, production. Okay, I've got a surplus of grain. Still a deficit on chickens, so I'm actually going to... I'm going to increase my chicken booming. farm size the here. Area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and 
good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air oh, dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency forest fire to get the fires well, under control. Okay. I don't know if I need to do anything about that. It's not even in my city boundaries. Oh wow, and there's a freaking tornado over here. Jeez. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, now this is a big forest fire. It looks like, I'm thinking that tornado must have like come through here. like it destroyed any roads. Yeah, that is a lot of dust for a tornado in the water. Like a cargo ship. Okay. Now, how are we doing on production? Cool, I have a sir. No, I still have a deficit of chickens. Okay, let's keep it going. People love their chicken. Deficit, huh? I don't know. It may take a little while to catch up. I'm going to come back to that. So right now I'm at um, 6.2 T a month. Does it, what is T? What does that stand for? Do you know? I get kilograms. Is that a higher, like, tons per month? I don't know. Ton isn't metric, though, is it? Because they're using, like, kilograms here. Maybe it is. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. I unlock tax rates. I can make a profit right now if I want. 10% is too low.
907 kilograms is a ton, huh? That would be weird if they're using tons here, but maybe they are. Oh yeah, hey look, so my chickens have a small surplus now. Cool. So I think the big thing right now is like, I need coal. Do I have, have I unlocked that? I don't think I have. I'm only seeing oil or wood and fertile land. Coal mining. I need a tiny town for that. Oh no. Now I've got a forest fire over here. Oh boy. Speaking of, whatever happened to this one? It's still just burning. No, like, residue anywhere. So what do I do about a forest fire? Firewatch tower reduces the chance of forest fires. I need to unlock it. I need this, I guess, the firefighting helicopter de depot. it's summer nice and toasty 26 Celsius what is that like 90 I don't in Fahrenheit so no it's only 78 <laughs> almost 80 degrees that's beautiful Okay, um, I feel like I'm all over the place because like there's just so much to do and so much to look at that's new. Landmarks. Oh, these are all like park landmarks. Oh, okay. I can't build any of these because I just do not have the cash. People are complaining about noise because we got some noise pollution. What's the deal? High school, commercial. This elementary school puts off some noise. But it's not that bad, like... The city really is not that noisy. Hmm. I mean, it's at 0% for average. Pretty good overall. What happens with my tal- I guess when I raised taxes, it really didn't do a whole lot, did it? Nah, it only went up by 10,000. Okay. Gotta keep building. using this divided road. So the road upgrade tool is now called replace. So I could change this road to one with the divider, just like that. Yeah, I'm definitely ignoring the divas. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> we can talk about SimCity. It's fine. Um, and I don't know. I was debating taking this road out here. This is like my main road. But there's just this big hill in the way, and it's fairly large. I'm trying to stay realistic here as far as, like, how I'm building. So what I think I'm actually going to do is delete this road. And we'll just... I haven't used this um, complex curve tool yet. Let's try it. See, so if I come out 40 meters and then curve that way, Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Alright, now I just want to go back to this. The channel where the classics never grow old. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes. How did that turn up? A fancy local jar mm. of mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. It's not perfect. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. But it looks okay. I don't know if I build a road out here, if my firefighters will take care of this. I really have no idea. Clearly, I need more houses here. <laughs> it's gonna happen. We're doing this. Okay. I'm gonna try it. If I buy this, can I start to put those out? So let's see, I'm going to pick up here, and that looks about straight. Okay, I love that. Oh no, I don't. What did it do? Do I? Like, huh, that's interesting. It's showing those weird arrows. I'm just gonna delete this and redo this section of road. Curve mode. This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. Even more the fires, smoke huh? Rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires 
and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Okay. So I'm going to build a bunch of houses around this side of the hill now, between these roads. I guess this continuous, is this kind of like the old... I'm just messing around for a minute here. Yeah, you can kind of curve whichever way you want. It's like the old complex curve tool in CS1. I'm actually going to delete these. are on. This is all pretty flat, so I'll just keep building on it. I'm going to leave a little space here for a school if I need it. looks like a really cool place to have some like hiking trails especially with this I mean I'm assuming it doesn't actually provide any real tourist value but it'd be pretty neat to have some trails going up around here I'll have to soften some of this terrain though as well all right so I've got um, like a collector here off this arterial into this neighborhood road. That looks good.
beautiful. Alright, a little more straight roads here. Yes, I can. Nice. Unfortunately, you can't build around it. I mean, to be fair, you couldn't in CS1 either. That's what Move It was for. That would have been really neat, though, if you could. Because it's a great look. Unfortunately, it's not very productive. Alright, I'm going to leave a little bit of space here as well. That looks good. And here. Bueno. Okay. Almost there. I'm going to for now connect this. I may end up removing this. I don't want too many stop lights on the main road like to keep them to a minimum because I mean that's probably only like gosh what 300 meters away I'm gonna do a curved road here here to here and Now let's go out to here. I'm gonna make it look sort of like stuff's being built around there. Another cul-de-sac. Okay. <laughs> and all my pipes and electricity are done. Oh, so awesome. High school is good. Elementary school is good. That is twice as many students as the schools in CS1 could hold. They were like 500, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna do primarily, oh look, I've got low rent housing now. Um, you know what, hold on, parks. I would like to have a small park. Put that there. I guess I need a park maintenance depot somewhere. I can put that over with my city services section, which is here. Depot. Um, two out of ten in use. I don't need any more right now. One out of ten. Six vehicles in use. Let's add more patrol cars. Now I've got twelve. Zero out of eight. So district creation is a little bit weirder here. There, now I'll find that faster next time, probably. Okay, so I've got a park. I don't know that I need schools yet. I would like to do some like row houses or something
put in a few apartments, moon radio and then we'll Jane do low Thomas density Hornbrook. everywhere else. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right. Today we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Oh, that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. <laughs> I'll stay and clear up the mess. You'll be back after. All right, halfway to level well, five, and I'm still losing a good that's chunk of money. Thing. But apparently that's not all good. Not enough news. customers good everywhere. A couple high rent issues. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the Alright, most of my forest fire issues are taken care of here now. That's good. One, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But while we are discussing the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human... Thank you. Oh, cool. Professor. You can click on a street and see the traffic. And the upkeep and the length. It's 97% condition. Average traffic flow, average volume. That's really neat. This should help with some of the customers. I've got high density residential demand. Does low rent housing count as high density? I guess it must. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna rezone. This whole square here. Well, is here. Oh yeah, that's a much taller crane. Wow, that's like at least fifteen stories, maybe twenty. I guess we'll see when it's done. Still plenty of surplus on the grains and the chickens. Um, budget, income. How do I see how much, like I'm producing a surplus, so I should be selling that, yes. How do I see how much money I'm making from it? Presumably I'm exporting quite a bit of grain. seeing it listed anywhere. Hmm. Okay. Still being built over here.
Alright, well I'm starting to get some... Well, not starting. I've got demand for offices now, so... I'm thinking I should try building some. Simulation speed feels a lot slower than it was in City Skylines 1, but I could be just crazy. Just to see what happens, I'm going to increase the level of detail. See if I can tell a difference in the frame rate without looking at it. feel like that didn't help at all. As far as... Hmm. Whatever. I'll leave it on medium for now. Alright, well the fire danger has passed. Another cargo ship carrying convenience food. So you can actually um, build North American or European style. So they have different zoning. I've only been doing European style up to now. And I will probably continue with that. Somebody dead. Oh man, I killed someone again. Makes it sound like there's a death wave, but I am not seeing one. Everything looks pretty normal here. Okay, two offices built and then office demand just plummeted. I've still got pretty high industrial demand. jobs. I don't know if this is going to cause issues for the farm, so I'm going to try to keep the pollution from blowing onto that farm too much.
feels like I should have a much higher population than 1,600 right now. This didn't actually end up being particularly tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, fourteen stories. Okay. So one thing I wanted to come back and do is just soften some of this terrain over here. If it'll let me. It really doesn't do a whole lot since the buildings forced the terrain. I suppose what I could do is use the level terrain tool and just bring it out a little bit. Softening here. And then it should let me do a little more than that. Or does it just end up going back to how it was? <laughs> Maybe it does. Jeez. I think it's a little better, but eh. Well, you can tell it's fall, the leaves are changing. Another dead end. fire really decimated the ability to harvest here. I'll do some forest right up in here. Before I do, I'm going to plant more trees. Someone on YouTube said to do this. Vegetation, birch, let's go, let's go big. Plant as many as I can. Now put it down. Uh, 
Ah, shoot. <laughs> I put the road on the wrong side. really don't seem to have an appropriate number of employees. Nine? Really? That doesn't seem right. Man, I clearly have way too much commercial going on here. residential low rent housing values aren't there. Alright, we'll do that housing. Low, low, low. I think I probably have the same problem here. Let's go low density in this entire block. broadcast to all citizens increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames the thick oh man the really the air dangerous to breathe citizens are <laughs> it's in my area that's not great at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control well shoot I think I'm gonna need these, this firefighting helicopter depot, but I don't think I have enough points to unlock it. I do not. I need one more point. Which means I need a level real quick. Like, real, real, real quick. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> my entire forestry industry. Okay. The 
the fastest way I figure I can probably level is going to be by building stuff, so... Let's build some stuff. Bus depot, I don't have a taxi depot. Let's start with just a simple taxi. Put it over here in my city services area. If it'll fit here, nope. How about over here? Yeah? Cool. And I can upgrade it with more taxis. Dispatch center, that sounds like a good idea. out of Tiny town! Now I get mixed housing. Nice. Vegetable farms, coal mining, communications, which includes post office, mail delivery, mobile networks, and wireless broadband. Roadside parking, huh? Okay. Well, I need this. Because I really got to get this fire put out. can choose districts. Now that I've unlocked internet, my citizens will demand it.
Okay, well, I've saved my forest at least. Or at least I will. Although now I'm losing a ton of money from that. Thinking I might redo this freeway here in a little while. Updates to our power Not yet, though. The city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public <laughs> service announcement. Shower with a friend whenever possible. Second moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. All right. I still have a ton of demand for industrial. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature. I suspect course. until the I get the district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury. Telecom items. added. You They're going to hate me. Shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate or Okay. Total workplaces 1700, employees 1600. Thanks, we'll be back after this. This has to be tons. 15 tons. <laughs> 271 a month I'm losing. keep raising taxes for a little bit until I see an obvious drop in demand right now if I build it it gets built I guess the exception is this residential hasn't totally filled in yet but I also have a massive industrial demand right now so and since industries don't seem to do a whole lot as far as jobs are concerned that means I need to build actual indus industrial zoning. So. Let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to build a road like around this hill here and I'll do a little bit more industrial right over here. Kind of around this area. That should do.
I'm just gonna need to soften. I might raise the terrain. Let's see what soften looks like. Definitely a nicer slope. I can probably live with that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to level. Soften this up just a little bit. Alright. Okay, next thing to do here is... Let's see how this works, actually. I'm very curious to see if this is going to let me replace. Unfortunately not. Well, not there, but it will here. Oh, great. What do I have here? Just commercial? That's fine. So this almost works like a move tool. You have to choose where you're going to replace it, but you can shift it just a little bit. There we go. I can... I can even shift it back to this side if I want. That's kind of cool. But I'm going to keep it on the same side for now. Now, I can't really 
use some of this. So I'm not going to, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about having too many intersections back here. This is... on the edge of the city. This game is lame? What the? Get out of here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's lame? area. Bye-bye. Yes. Where's the chicken farm? It's over here. Oh, did you want another? <laughs> you want another chicken farm? Instead of another industrial area? I feel that. Fill it up. Fast speed. Should get us some more jobs. Okay, while that's building, I'm just going to lower the speed just a little bit. I need to handle mail and telecom. Let's start with a radio mast. Oh no, 5G! And there are a couple upgrades. More traffic and increased coverage. Let's do it. Both. Boom. You want me to build an island? This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Oh In man, another area, fire. The forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Alright, now this island is fairly well covered. I'm sure I could build an island. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. Just using the landscaping tools. A driving but. advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must. How does the shift terrain to tool work? Oh boy. Improve. 
This has been a local public service Yeah, I could totally build an island. You are listening to Second Moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, oh, man. you might want to wait a little while until another band building. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Hmm. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. There's two row houses company. here. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Man, maybe I really killed my demand for... No, because I've still got, like, completely ridiculous demand for industry. Which, if I look at workplace availability, now I've got... Well, I've still only, like, a hundred more workplaces than employees, so that's actually not that bad yet. So, okay. Let's keep it going. There we go. Better. Do it, more industry. Okay, there it goes. Now it's dropping like crazy. And commercial, or er, residential starting to climb. Are they unhappy? Small homes. What does that mean exactly? Try some mixed use here. Mixed housing. Because I've got commercial demand. This should technically take care of both commercial and residential. though. 
So I'm actually going to relocate my street here. There. I'm actually going to put a pedestrian path, though. Where is pedestrian path? Pedestrian street. Here we go. There we go. Pretty gentle slope there, I think that's okay. I forgot to check on my school. Two hundred eighty one students, ninety two students. I wonder if these kids, though, go adult child. Oh, yep, they do go to that school. I was worried that they didn't, because it's too far, but it looks like they are, so that's cool. Oh hey, some of my mixed juice is growing in. I don't even remember what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to build some commercial over here. Ah, but parking. Yay. I actually wanted to put this guy down. How much is it going to cost me? 10000 a month? That's a pretty neat little parking structure. Yes, please. Add a car wash.
roads do some funky things sometimes. never been able to do this in the original game. That was so easy. Okay, I'm gonna put a park. Plaza here. Authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. Whew. This has been a local public service announcement. I might legitimately You're run out of money here soon. Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia. Mm -hmm. Land of art and culture. <laughs> Quibon, bon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our. Oh, okay. No Here's how much money I'm making earth. from wood. Well, that's from taxes. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. As I'm not actually convinced that I'm actually exporting anything and making money from that. The latest in luxury to our neighborhood. Services. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. I'm going to take the budget down on a couple of things here in the hopes that it will help. It's a little better. Got a chicken deficit again. Dang it. Oh, hey, look at the demand falling as I raise that tax rate. It's 
still up there though. Residential's waffling just a little bit. I only have super low residential demand right now. So I'll work on building some of that out. Uh, let me look at my overlays again. Um, fertile land here. Oil here. Stone here. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this. Maybe, maybe another farm out here. I could definitely do another farm out here. Maybe some oil out here. But, for the most part, I think I'm just going to build over these areas. Oh, speaking. Getting distracted again. 20 taxis. I need more taxis. Let's take it up to 30. Can you see him leave? Yeah, you can. Look at that. Looks like that's probably about all of them now. Yeah. Fully dispatched. I'm going to replace mixed use here. is needed. gentle-ish, but I do think Nah, I'm just gonna let that in there. This is fine.
Sorry, I should definitely be like chatting more, but I'm just like getting in the zone here. I hope this isn't like the most boring thing ever. I mean, I guess if it is, you're not watching. Or <laughs> you'd leave. Um, but I'm having fun. So the plan is just to build up a bunch of res <coughs> excuse me, low density housing up in here. No. Only to here, please. forget the park. You know what? It is about time I unlock additional parks. Large parks. Unlock. Large city park. Large playground. Let's see how big this large city park is. Let's do this. Yeah, this will be good. Once all this stuff builds in, I can probably convert it to row housing. Industry and commercial are going back up. I'm super close to leveling at this point. Which is good because I am running low on money. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. <laughs> that was truly superfluous. Somebody yeah, said so many open jobs, so few workers. Is that really the case? Not really. I mean, I have three thousand workplaces, twenty-eight hundred employees. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. Mix you there. You can shop for designer shoes commercial while sipping here. a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Okay. Balance is much better now. Still not making money. But to be perfectly honest, I was never making money with a population of 3,500. You need five, ten thousand.
population is just skyrocketing. Yeah, it's still 2023. They really changed up the simulation. By this time in CS1, it, I would be like 30 years in the future. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit, but seriously. It would absolutely be a lot further along. I'm not complaining. This feels a little more realistic. It's slow. this building lack of maintenance oh that was one of my mixed use that's not great oh no it was my office to level. This was abandoned for being unhappy. So is this. That's interesting. School's still doing pretty good. It's time to expand my chicken farm. Oh, okay, we'll come back to that. New level. Boomtown. Textile farming. Industrial filters, heavy traffic ban. What's that? Busy town, ore mining. town we get high density <coughs> okay I'm gonna build some more stuff or buy some more stuff here I might spin some on the roads here. Gas power plant looks like it's more efficient. I might pick that up. Water pumping, I don't need that at the moment. I do think it's about time I unlock the hospital. And probably a recycling center as well, as well as a college. I have three points left. I can either do parks, sports parks, or I can do, I'm gonna do some roads. So let's pick up roundabouts and highways. And then I'll come back to that here in a little bit, okay.
we got a little bit more chickens. Oh, another little frame rate skip for a second there. Overall, the performance has been totally fine. That's overall. It could be better. It could be worse, I suppose. I'm sure it is worse for people with an older graphics card. Um, mine's okay. I don't have a 4090 or anything, but 3080 is nothing to scoff at. Okay, so I've got commercial and industrial demand pretty strong still. Oh, man. Without these government subsidies, I'd really be getting my butt kicked on my balance. locked. Okay, so I have unlocked roundabouts. I've got medium, large, very large now. Sound barrier. And a bunch of highway pieces. Three lane, two way, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Hospital, which I can't afford to build right now. Recycling center. Whew. That's pricey. 880,000. College. 750. I am going to plop this down. We're going right over here.
Perpetual farming, textile farming, coal mining. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been I've got coal. By someone sitting in front it's not unlocked, though. Blank paper, using only their imagination as guides through a silent orbital masterpiece. Now, here we sit, listening at full volume, and our souls are transported. Hmm. But let us not tarry. On to the next episode. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing I was well, a bit torn on if I'm going to do coal. No uh, bug, yeah, coal here, but I think I will. Let's do it. Okay, let's see how that works out. I should hopefully have plenty of trees here to block the noise. Alright, air pollution's still pretty good. Um, and 
debating what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to... I'm going to take Main Street. Just out a little bit further. We'll end it right about here. It's not too bad. And then... That looks okay. new signature building. Eh, no, I don't like that still. That's much better. Doing some weird things there. Okay. All right, Xerxesville.
soften my terrain just a little bit. Go down. Okay. playground. It's not even that large. I'm going to take a short break here in a few minutes. I need to go rest my eyes, take a quick walk. Can no longer do the four, eight, ten hour gaming sessions that I could do when I was a little bit younger. I like to keep playing, but I need a break. So, probably once this grows a little bit, I'll go take 10, 20 minutes. Go take a quick walk. This is really the first time I've done this this entire game, but I'd like to see how the a driving districts work. Has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you. Uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. All right, how are we doing on the production now? We are producing 62 tons a month of coal. And that means that my coal plant is now powered, right? Instead of importing goods. Let's take a look at some things. Not enough customers. Waiting for a hearse. 
Very few people are parking here, but that is okay. Industry demand is still pretty high. I'm going to stop the stream once again. I will bring it back probably in the next 10 to 20, maybe 30 minutes. So, looking forward to it. I'll be back shortly.